Hello and welcome to Siebel Volatility 411. My name is Dan Deming and I'm a KKM Financial. We're looking at VIX Cash that's up on the session, 32 spot 75, coming off the weekly low earlier in the session of 31 spot 14, as the SPX is reversing course here today and giving up much of yesterday's gains. Weekly high of 34 spot 53, so pretty much in the middle of the range for the weekly range for the VIX Cash. Realized volatility, 10 day realized volatility up of one and a half file points to 31 week over week. 30-day realized volatility holding steady week over week at 26 and a half. At the money straddle and the SPX looking 30 days out, implied vol level of 30. So we continue to see that increasing as the markets are realizing more volatility here. As well as when you look at the VIX futures, we're seeing them as we move into expiration week, VIX futures at a discount to cash across the board currently at these price levels and backwardation in the futures market. Now looking at uh, the roll market, November, December roll, which becomes the lead roll market next week, negative uh, 80 cents in negative roll there. And also we're seeing backwardation from January to June futures into next year. Activity in the VIX options, a lot of action in October, uh, actually out of the money puts now uh, at the 28 to 31 strikes. And then very active out of the money call action uh, going all the way up to the 80 strike in October. And then you move into November. We did see a big trade go up in November, a one by two call spread. The 40, 80 call spread went up 40,000 times by 80,000 times. Next week, several things to influence the vow structure. Number one, I think the UK uh, news coming into the weekend and out of Monday is going to have an impact from a short term perspective as well as expiration week. We have Fed speak throughout the week next week and earnings, which all are going to influence the vol structure as we move into expiration week.